So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the teacher dashboard side from my cell phone, just in case this seems like an option for you that you'd wanna walk around with your cell phone to control your presentation. It becomes almost like a wireless remote for your desktop. So all I've done is open Chrome and go to Pear Deck.com. Um, you put the plush sign, teacher login, and then it will recognize any devices that you have. Okay. So once it's open, you can start creating a presentation here from your phone. You could do vocabulary, but what we're looking for are sessions. So you at this point would have started the session on your desktop. And now you want to jump on to that session on your phone so that you can control what's going on on the computer. So if a session is active, it will tell you, um, kind of right here, it says like date. Um, I obviously am not in front of a classroom right now. So I'm just gonna pick period form. We'll pretend that it's a live session. So you go to open dashboard because we wanna see the teacher dashboard. So the reason that you would open this is that you can actually see the responses of your students as you are going through the presentation. So you can notice if a student is completely off the mark, you can see kind of where they might be not on task because it will tell you if you don't have responses from someone that's in there. So if I click on any of these little dots, it will tell me who they are. So this person is way off, this person obviously not paying attention or just messing around. Um, so again, you can see the dots, where they're at. You can click on the dots, it will tell you their name. So this one, right here you see the red box around the screen that shows that we're showing the responses. If I unclick that, it's showing the screen, and the screen is just asking for the intersection for systems of equation, and these are the answers. So I was able to, before, when I taught this lesson, a lot of people had the wrong answer, so I was able to like problem solve on the spot. So I went to Ethan and I said, Ethan, make sure that you're showing me this coordinate, and they're actually typing it on their calculator. So he was able to show me that he knew how to do it, even though he had the answer wrong. Um, one of the kids specifically, like their answer was way off, so I was able to go and figure out what they typed in wrong. Um, but then, so by the end of this problem, I had problem solved everyone and made sure everyone had the right answer before we moved on. You can't see this when you're presenting. It won't show you the names. It'll just show you random answers. So you can kind of problem solve and say, hey, whoever typed this answer in, like make sure you're doing this. But this becomes a much more powerful conversation because I can actually walk directly to the student and ask them how they feel about it. Um, and then so here you can see this is a more kind of detailed answer. I was able to problem solve where people were at. Um, so that's what the teacher dashboard looks like. And anytime you're doing something, you just go and click this little button on the bottom and it will show the responses. And this is actually determining, I didn't realize this until I was presenting in front of the class, this is actually controlling what's on the screen. So I was just, they were doing a problem and then I was trying to look at other problems that we had already gone past so I could look at them in more detail and they started screaming. They said, what are you doing? And so I didn't realize that this becomes actually a wireless remote for your presentation, which is awesome. Um, so that's it. And I'll get you guys some work time.